Welcome, Gianni Pancini. 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 Right. And Gianni Fritzen. Thank so you. So you are here um, in Delft. Uh, this is uh, for jazz meeting. So welcome to jazz meeting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, well, I met, of course, Jonathan Fritzen uh, maybe four years ago at the Jazz Rock Cafe in Hengamo. That's right. When was that? Yes. 2016, I believe it was. Yeah. So yes. time flies. Yes, time flies. And uh, this is the first time for me. Um, so what has happened in those two years? Since last time? Yeah. What has happened? Um, a lot of touring. Mm -hmm. And a new record that came out last year, an all ballad CD. Composed by yourself? Yeah, I I wanted to try something different this time, so I wrote a record which was just twelve all songs in the kind of style of ballads, and it was like a project I've been thinking about for a long time, and finally we made it happen, and it was a very fun thing to do, very nice and slow and still. So you're happy. You're very happy. When you brought it out, it, it, you, you are happy. Well, you know, I what with the record, I'm, I hope that you know, because you know, there's a lot of stress going on in the world right now with different things happening, and with this project, I wanted you know, you turn the CD on, yes. and you can kind of feel all the way through, just kind of this nice vibe and you know, positive kind of feeling. So that's what I hope it portrays. Yeah. Well, Gianni, and you um, know each other for yeah. years, or yeah. We, we, yeah, yeah, we we met four or five years ago in LA uh, but we actually never played together so but it's probably gonna happen tonight so with the pets yes yeah. definitely oh, very excited about that yeah, yeah. <laughs> well about uh, tell me about your musical adventure when wow. did you fell in love with your instrument the saxophone the saxophone I was 14 uh, 14 years old I decided to go uh, to have my diploma at the conservatory yeah. so I just picked up the the, I, I, have, I had no idea about mm -hmm. what was a saxophone. I just picked up the sax because it sounded to me the most like modern instrument between like violin or flute. So that's the reason why I just started with the saxophone. And from that moment, it just became a okay. huge passion. Yes. And when was that moment that you thought by yourself, well, uh, this is the time and this is my... Uh, my destination. Oh, my, my, um... I, I was five years old. I always wanted to be a musician, yeah. to be involved in that kind of mood, uh, lifestyle, whatever. So it's uh, it's a dream come true. Yeah. Well, uh, well, that's very. Uh, then you are very lucky because for um, the most of, of the people, it is very hard to find their mission, their passion, of course. Right. Isn't it? You know, I think like Johnny says. It's, um, you just have to, um, you know, try to figure out like what you want to do and, and spend time with that. And, and because yes. it, I, I think it's something that you actually actively have to pursue. Yeah. It doesn't just happen by chance because if you let chance take control of your life, it will take, you know, a different path. But you just have to kind of figure out like what you want to do. And when you figure out that vision, you just go for it and you focus uh, 150% on it. It's funny because we were actually talking about that yeah, last yesterday night. at dinner. <laughs> And it's more like a mission that you yeah. feel, you know, mm -hmm. and you need just need to go for that. Yeah. That's it. Um, what what is success? Because um, what is success for you for years ago, and now the on the small? What Second. is success for you? Success. Uh, uh, years ago and now. Well, I, I I think it is a difference. Yes, it, because it, it depending on which age you are yeah. in. Yes. Sometimes you, you need to, your, your main goal is to be good on your instrument yeah. and when maybe you get a little bit older, yeah. you, the, the main thing is to communicate something, what you learn and if you are kind of good in what you do, you, you, the, the, the second, second big step for me was to start to communicate with people while playing. Which is not easy at all, and I, I think for me it's a constant like research, and it's, it's not easy, but it's good. When you see people like reacting to your music, like crying, dancing, smiling, whatever, that, that's that, that's the goal. The people, that's your right, goal. that's the goal. That's the goal. I just want to make to make people feel something, whatever. And it's funny because maybe with one the same song, one could cry and the other one could smile. You never know. Depending on, you know, 
yeah. different people. So it's great. It's great. I, I have to second that. What Gianni is saying is that, like you know, the life of a musician it can be pretty crazy. You you travel a lot and, and you're very focused night and day, seven days a week. But you know, those couple you have those few moments. Like yeah. I remember one moment two years ago. Actually, not after too long, I was in, in the here. Yeah. I was in Texas, Houston, Texas, yeah. and this lady comes up to me after the show, yeah. and she told me a story that her um, her father had just passed away yeah. like two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and she didn't really know how to, to deal with it. And she yeah. told me that that she had been listening to one of my songs, A New Beginning, yeah. over and over, mm -hmm. to kind of make you know the next phase of her life seem valuable and meaningful and yeah. she said that that song helped yeah. her to get there and to me just you know a moment like that it makes it everything worthwhile yes for sure totally yeah. agree mm. yes and do you think that every musician had that same experience like you saw well hopefully yes i think so i think so it should be mm. one of the main purpose for a musician yeah. like to move something yeah. you know so what uh, means and does music with you what is jazz for me yeah. oh that's another question it's uh, a mixture of things uh, life experience yeah. uh, you never play the same thing mm -hmm. you know it, it's every 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 time is different and most of you your playing my playing is a uh, tend to be affected of my, my experience. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, today, yeah. next week, I don't know. Yeah. So it's, um, that was, yeah, I would say jazz is more like a... Mm -hmm. So uh, is it important to, to have um, a kind of history you are telling by music, your experiences? The more you have, the better. Yeah. yeah. The more rich you have uh, inside, the, the better it is. I have a lot of questions, but I have to go to my final question. Um, well, what is your message, Jonathan, to the world? What is your you? message, message uh, to the young musicians and to the world? Do you have any kind of message? Well, I think that, you know, um, we, do, we just kind of keep it going, you know. And yeah. I remember when I grew up, yes. you have a couple moments like you see some concert or something that just touches you and you remember those moments for the rest of your life and you know hopefully you know we can inspire you know the next generation coming up to continue to pursue music and because you know right now in the world there's so many you can do so much and 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 I think the the joy and the um, the greatness of, of learning an instrument and being able to share that with other people it's a very valuable thing so I hope it just keeps going and you know we're part of that Hopefully, the legacy. Yes, but, but in this crazy world, this hectic world, world with a lot of information, how do you cope and stay with your music yeah. and to be yourself and to grow? Yeah. How do you do that? You, I think you just have to be very cautious about it. Yes. You know, you have to be aware of yeah. what's happening, going around. You know, and and just and make intelligent decisions. Yeah. But it's all about being aware and you know seeing what's happening yeah. and then acting. Right. Thank you, Jonathan. Pleasure. Now, same question to you, Kiani. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty much. I would say the same thing. Like, find your passion. Yes. Uh, live for your passion. Mm -hmm. Go for that, and, and be honest yes. with your music, with everything you do in life. Just stay focused on it, and yeah, don't like look around and be messy because mm -hmm. it could be yes. like kind of easy yeah. nowadays. So too easy. Right. Too yeah. easy. Too easy. Yeah. yeah. I want to thank you both. I wish you love, luck, happiness, and of course, good health. Same to thank you, and thank you, you for yes. all you do for supporting well, this music. We really appreciate it. That you remember me. Of course. Because it, it, you met a lot of people. It was only two years ago. <laughs> music and music. So thank you for, appreciate uh, everything. for being Pleasure. you and for being you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you, everybody. Yeah. And have a uh, well, a great show. Let's have some fun now. Yeah.